Hi everybody, Diamonds by Tita here. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I've got some more Timu paintings for you to take a look at. It's a pretty big order. I'm not quite certain how many are in there, probably 12 or 14. It's gonna be more, more than what I can do in one video. So we are just going to go ahead and start. Uh, I wanna welcome everybody in. Thanks so much if you're returning. I thank you so much for coming back. I'm glad that you like the content enough to come back. And if you're new, I really wanna welcome you. Thanks so much. Okay, so here we go. Um, let me just put this over to the side. And I'm just gonna reach in and, and get one. I have no idea which one I'm getting. So this is gonna be just a surprise. All right, this is one of the bigger paintings and this is a 40 by 70. And I may have to bring you in a little bit. That's kind of, you're kind of far out. Okay, here we go. Now this is a Christmas picture. This is a nativity scene. And I had done a partial, and this is a full drill. And it's in the stained glass, and I really, really like this. Um, I like the outlining in it. Let me see if I can, I'm gonna bring you in so you can see it just a little bit better. Or actually, you know what? Let me go this way. And then you can see the whole thing this way. And then I will, okay, so you can kind of see it that way. And then I'm gonna bring this in. Oop, not out, Teresa, in. Isn't that pretty? This one, again, is 40 by 70. It has 26 colors. Um, it was very beat up in shipping. I'll flip it over so that you can see it. But you can see the nativity with the little lamb and the baby Jesus and Joseph and Mary and the star. It's just very pretty. The legend has got uh, numbers and letters and the numbers are in numerical order. So one is a one and two is a two. However, I will show you that the canvas is extremely beat up, but not a problem. I can get those wrinkles out. Um, I've actually found a couple um, better ways to iron than my last tutorial. So I'm going to make an updated version for you guys. Um, because I think it works a lot faster and a lot easier. So let me just go ahead and see if I can straighten this out a little bit. So how is everybody doing today? I've had a busy day. Work was busy. Oops, and I kind of, oops. Oh, I got that on the wrong side. Sometimes you can't get this cover paper on the wrong side, otherwise it just sticks really bad. I'm sorry for all the crinkle for the people that don't like the crinkle, but I've got to straighten this out a little bit. That is better. Now, actually, you can kind of see it. Um, with so much dark blues in this, I will definitely be using my light pad. I pretty much use my light pad for everything. Um, my eyes just need the extra help. But I find that with the dark colors, um, I definitely need the light pad. There we go. There we go. So this will be nice for the Christmas season. And I'll pull that out just a little bit so you can see, hopefully see the whole thing, or at least most of it. There you go. And the drills, I mean, I will show you um, 
for all you guys that are, are beginners, this is the standard toolkit that comes, the plate of wax, although you are gonna need more wax than this for this painting, or at least I would anyway, um, the tray and then the, the pen. So I won't show you more of them um, because they all are gonna come that way unless it's something different. And the colors of the drills, again, are all gonna be dark. They're all dark navies. There is some pink. There's a little bit of brighter blue in it, but we got a pretty much a palette of blues, creams, gray, a little bit of brown. And so that's that one. Again, 26 colors. I'm happy with that. I definitely want to do that for, for the holidays. Okay, let me grab another one. And I'm just reaching in at, at random here. And I think I've ordered this twice. So you'll have to forgive me for showing it to you twice. Um, maybe some of you guys are going to be new and have not seen it. But this is a 30 by 40 tiger with flowers. And he's very pretty. He's very, very pretty. Now this one has got 22 colors and it's all in letters. Um, I can see all the symbols very clearly. I don't think there's gonna be any, any issues with like B's or R's. Let me just take a quick look um, where the B's and R's are because sometimes those are hard to determine. I don't, because the B's are in blue. I think it's gonna be just fine so that you can kind of just see what that looks like. And I'll show you the legend too. Yeah. So again, um, I do apologize for showing this to you twice. Once in a while, I do order a duplicate. And if that happens, I do like to give them away. Might give them to my, one of my granddaughters because they definitely like the animals. Okay, so there's that one. And let me reach in and get another one. Now this is another large one. Let's see what this is. Oh, I'll tell you why I got this. I this is a this is a princess like Cinderella type dress. Isn't that pretty? I think that is just so gorgeous. And this one has got 24 colors. And I'll show you the legend. The legend is all in letters. And I guess why I'm up here, I'll show you the drill field. I can see it just fine. I just thought that was so, so magical. Be like a magical princess. I've always loved those fairy tale ball gowns. I just think they're so pretty. So I do like this one. Now this is a 40 by 50. So this is a nice size. It's going to be able to give a little bit more clarity. I think if this was in a 30 by 40, you definitely would not be seeing as much detail as you are in this 40 by 50. So remember, for everybody that's new, um, the larger that you go in a painting, um, the more detail and less pixelated that you are going to have. And this one, too, got a little bit beat up in shipping. And I'm going to need to iron this one as well. 
And I'm going to pull out just a little bit so that you can see the whole thing. Again, get that glare off. That's really pretty. And the drills, I'm certain I'm getting the right ones. The drills, of course, we're going to have um, lots of purples and pinks. There is some gray, but look at some of that, the vibrant pinks. It's got blues and navies and more pinks, more purples. It's a very pretty palette. Um, this one's going to have uh, good amounts of color blocking, um, particularly down at the bottom. There's going to be patches. You can see patches of the C and patches of the G. So there's not like huge areas of it, but you're going to have pockets of it. In the dress, all the white, that's all going to be color blocking too. But then a lot of confetti in the flowers. You got tons of confetti. And the background, um, this the black, that's B's and W's. So that is not all color blocking either. Oh, and W, yeah, W's, W's and B's, and a few N's. So I think that's super pretty. I like it. I am happy with that one. And I'm going to take a little sip of coffee. My throat's a little bit dry. Do you guys like the, um, the lighter um, tablecloth? Um, I love the bright that I've had on it, but I have gotten some feedback that they don't like how busy it is. But I've had some people tell me they really like it. So I'm going with the neutral. Let me know what you guys think about it because um, I'm kind of curious. I mean, I know I can't please everybody, but I sure would like to, you know, make things enjoyable for you and, and easier on the eye. Okay, so even though we are going into, sorry for all the noise, there's just a, let me shut my window because I had my window open. I was getting a little bit of fresh air in and I'm hearing motorcycles, I'm hearing all kinds of stuff. So again, we're coming into fall and I'm looking at a beach scene, but I like this. I love the hammock. I love the palm trees. I just love this whole beach scene. You know, I don't think I'm going to be doing things always seasonally. Um, I think when I select a painting, I'm just going to probably do whatever kind of suits my fancy, whatever I want to do. I mean, who knows? I might be doing... Christmas and Halloween, you know, in, in March. It was whatever suits my fancy. So this again is a small 30 by 40. This one has got 20 colors and they are in, I'll show you the legend. It is in symbols and letters. Um, I can read all the letters very clearly. I don't think this is gonna come out pixelated at all. I try to select um, paintings that are not gonna come out pixelated. The flowers might a little bit maybe, but I like that one. And listen to all those motorcycles. I wonder, did you hear that? That was a loud motorcycle. Okay, so here are the drills. We got whites and pinks and blues grays, more blue, and of course there's going to be some greens and grays and yellows, browns. I like the yellow, that's a pretty yellow. Okay, so there is that one. Yeah, I like that real well. Very pretty. Okay, let me just select one more. Let's get, get a couple more here. Just gonna reach in the bag and get and get one. Oh, and this is a little one. I I made a mistake, and imagine that me making a mistake. But I do. I make them. Um, I thought this was in a thirty by forty. I didn't read the small print. 
I didn't read it very well. This is only a 20 by 30, and it's a feather design. Um, heavy, heavy confetti. It has 16 colors, and these are in um, symbols and letters. I don't think it's too difficult to read. Um, yeah, I think if, it, if this one was in a larger size, you, again, you're gonna see that detail a whole lot better. Um, but this might be fun to do in between paintings, if, you know, when I'm doing a big one. Um, sometimes I just get, I just get real, um, I don't wanna say tired or, or burned out, but sometimes I just need a break from the real big ones. So this would be kind of nice to have and plus I love the colors. So the colors are real pretty. We've got shades of green, white, of course my pink. Lots of pinks in there, look at that. Lots and lots of pinks and blues, teal, yellow, and then this kind of, um, I don't know what you'd call that green, but that's pretty too. So there's that one. Okay, let's grab another one. Okay, this is another big one. And this is a big 40 by 70. This is another stained glass, and I gotta pull you out so that you can see it. And I thought this was just beautiful too. And I don't know if it's, I mean, I don't know if the actual painting is all stained glass or if the flowers are in front of like a stained glass window. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking it is. In fact, let me just show you the thumbnail real quick. That is the thumbnail. Yeah, this one just this one just looked like my style. Again, um, it got a little beat up in, in shipping, but um, I can iron that all out and make it nice and flat. Um, this is in letters and numbers. Oh, this is interesting. They actually have a zero and not the letter O. So their numbers are off. A one, number one is a zero, a two is a one, a three is a two. So that, that sometimes irritates my nerve when the numbers are off. Even though I do paint by symbols, um, it still irritates my nerve. There we go. And here we go. Let me just go ahead and straighten this one out. I like the 40 by 70 size. Or actually, I really like the, the 50 by 50 or the 40 by 50s. I like those sizes too. Again, just because it's gonna give you so much um, better clarity. There we go. Oh, and it's very sticky. Very, very sticky. And of course, all of these are in rounds. Um, for the most part, I don't buy any squares from the budget-friendly companies. this out so you can see the whole thing a little bit more there you go now you can see the whole thing that way and then I will flip it around this way so you can see everything I'll just squish it up but I just thought that was really it's really really pretty love the flowers Okay, so there is that one. Uh, 
Okay, what? I gotta move some of these drills over. You have to excuse me. I'm getting um, I'm getting, I'm getting a little too many drills there. This is another small one. Oh, I got green boats everywhere. Look at the mess I've got in this table. I've got messes. Now, this one an, is another Christmas. I love snowmen. And he is going to come out really good. Again, you're not going to have pixelation on this because you have one pretty big subject. I think he's really cute. He only has 20 colors. This is a little thinner canvas than what they traditionally are. And these are in symbols and letters. Let me just show you that real quick. See symbols and letters. I can read all of the letters and symbols very clearly, very clearly. But yeah, I like snowmen. I like Frosty the Snowman song. I think I'm kind of getting into the holiday spirit early. We're not even in October, and I think I'm getting into the holiday spirit. Oops, what am I doing? I'm not even done showing you the drills. I'm getting out of my, I'm getting out of whack here. Okay, here are the drills. Got white, again, blue, more white. There's gonna be lots of green, greens and reds in this because of his hat and his scarf and his gloves. And there is a little teeny bit of pink. It's very pretty. Yep, I like that one. Let's see. And while we're on the Christmas theme, here is a really pretty Christmas tree. And let me pull you out again so you can see it. I thought this was really pretty too. I'm gonna show you the thumbnail real quick so you can see that so you can see what it's going to look like this one has got 25 colors so lots of colors and numbers and letters let me show you that ones and ones a two a two thank you very much like that much better I think I have four more paintings after this, so I think I'm just going to go one big, one long um, video. So I hope that's okay with you guys, and you're not going to get you're not going to get too bored. If you like this kind of more neutral, you know, table table cover or backdrop, or if you like them brighter, because I'm kind of curious about that. Now, this one, the drills all come um, pre-bagged in the little Ziploc bags. And again, lots of very, very bright colors. Kind of my palette. I like that. So there's that one. Oops. Just put that one down. Let me get the next one for you. Boy, we're going through a lot of them. This is going to be a. This is going to be big. Now I thought this owl was really pretty. Again, lots of colors because you know me. Got lots of color. This one's going to have some confetti too, although there is going to be some color blocking. 
And these are in um, letters. These are all letters. Now this one is a thinner canvas as well. Yep, I've kind of gotten into owls lately. Growing up, we had a hoot owl outside that lived in the trees. So I'd always hear them hooting in the middle of the night. So this one's in pretty with blues and pinks and purples. And the drills will, are gonna reflect that too. So this one is really a very dark purple and a lavender. There's some teal hanging out in there and pink and more blue. That one's actually more of a purple. Let me go on this side. And then we've got the, the kind of um, brownie tanny and pinks purples. Love that color. And then when you take a kind of peek at this way, you can peek at them. Yeah, it's going to be nice and bright on that canvas. So there's the owl. I'm going to take another sip of coffee. I don't know why my throat's getting so dry. Maybe I'm just talking too much, huh? Okay. So I'm going to give you a, um, a disclaimer or a warning on this next painting. Um, this one is kind of, um, it's kind of weird and I don't want it to make you get dizzy or anything. So um, it's kind of like a vortex. So let me show this to you. So if, if you don't like it, you can just fast forward or whatever, but this is really kind of a bizarre one. And I don't know why, I saw it on another creator's website, and uh, or not website, another creator's video, and I just thought it was really cool. I don't know why, um, I just really liked it. Um, although, I know some people looking at it, again, it might make you a little dizzy, or you might not like it. Um, I, I kinda do. This one has got 22 colors. Uh, it is in all letters. Again, this is probably going to be pretty confetti heavy too. So if you don't like confetti, this one won't be won't be for you. But I, I thought it was just different. It's just, it's just, it's just different. I guess it reminds me of I don't know, like in space or something, going through like a vortex or I don't know, I don't know. I. I liked it and the colors again are all going to be um, in the uh, blues and purples pinks red gray um, all these multicolors. anyway I thought it was really cool so I got it okay so there's that one I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna Keep that on there too long just in case it bothers some people i'm not certain if it will or not but just in case okay now the next one if you guys have been following me for any length of time this is kind of in my animal set that i have um you may remember um the duck paintings that i've done and these kind of go along with my duck paintings these are the flamingos and I thought these guys were absolutely adorable. How fun is this painting? I just love it. I love pink flamingos. It is just so absolutely adorable. This is a 35 by 70. Um, it is in all letters. And I will show you the legend real quick. And I'll get real close so that you can see the drill field, which is clear. Um, there's going to be a lot of color, a lot of color blocking in this. This will go really fast. I just thought these little flamingos were just, they are just absolutely too cute. Again, I'm kind of looking at a summer painting, but who knows when I'm going to do this one.
There you go. There we go. I'll straighten this one all out. This one's not as sticky as I probably would like it to be. I probably would like a little bit more stick because I don't like my drills sliding around. But I really do like, really do like the painting. Really cute. You guys still hanging in with me? We're into this by 30 minutes and I've got two more to go. Can we make it? I think we can make it. So this is, like I said, this is gonna be a long, a long one. And you know me, I love horses and I love color and I got both. Really pretty. This is a 30 by 40. This is only 19 colors. It is all letters. This one is very sticky. Well, the flamingos were not quite so sticky. I think he's pretty, or she's pretty. And I think I'm going to be able to see enough of the horse on this. Let me just show you the, the legend. I'll show you the drill field. Just cute with that halter on it. Lots of color. A lot of color blocking on this. Again, it's going to go real fast. So again, this one is going to have lots of lavender in it. And then gray, it's going to have lots of white that are in the background and blues, lots of blues and pinks. And again, the dark lavender, very pretty. Okay, so there's that one. And we made it to our last one. We're at 32 minutes. Okay, now this one is a duplicate of a larger painting, but I wanted it in a smaller one too. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I really like this painting. And I know it kind of looks really kind of washed out, um, but the colors of the drills are very vibrant. And I want to show you the thumbnail of what the colors are. So this painting has got the uh, guide circles. Now, if you are new to diamond painting, a guide circle is just that. It's a circle around the symbol that will help you place the drill where it's supposed to be. Some people don't like it because sometimes those circles you can see. Not all the time, but sometimes you can. So, um, and I'll show you what they look like. Oh boy, that's tight. Here we go. So anyway, um, I do have a larger size painting of this too, but I just really liked it. And I wanna show you how um, bright and vibrant the drill colors are. Look at that orange and teal, you know, purple and more teal. Sorry, my dog's starting to woof and bark. Somebody's walking by. So the colors, again, are very vibrant and bright. It's gonna to totally brighten up the canvas. Um, and let me just show you what those guide circles are. Can you see the little circles around the letters and numbers? That's a guide circle. Okay, so that is everything that I have. I'm gonna do a quick recap. Um, thanks for hanging out with me this long. This was um, a long video. I normally don't quite do them this long, so everybody that's been asking for long, here you go. We got it. Um, you can let me know if you like the length of this or if you want shorter, um, but here we go. So there's my flowers. My flowers, and this is a wave, and of course the sunrise. This is going to be water back there. I just thought that was really pretty. And then we've got my horse. 
Okay, so I got my, my funny weird painting, so hang on there. This is my vortex or my wormhole if I'm out in space or maybe I'm on the TARDIS and going through it. I don't know, I liked it, I thought it was cool. I don't know, maybe I'll hang that next to the TARDIS painting when I do it. And then here is my pretty owl. And here are my pretty flamingos. Love the flamingos. And then I have my snowman. And then I have my flowers in front of a stained glass window. I'm just squishing that up so you can see that one more time. And I'll lay it sideways and then you can see the whole thing too. Very pretty. All right, here's my oops, because I meant to order that larger. But that's my oops little feather, but it's still cute. I like it. And then I have my Christmas tree. I think that one's pretty too. And I have my my beach scene where I'm gonna go on vacation and lay in the hammock and, and relax. And here is my fairy tale dress. My beautiful Cinderella dress. I, just, I think this one is so pretty. I just, I love it. And then um, this is my tiger that I know you've probably seen before. Oh, but I'll give the duplicate to my to one of my grandkids. And then my last one is my nativity scene, my nativity stained glass, which is going to be perfect for, for the holidays, for Christmas. So there's that. So that is all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, so appreciate it. You guys are amazing. You rock. Um, if you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing. If you made it all the way through the end, greatly appreciate that. Um, and please drop a comment too. I love comments. Um, you guys give good feedback. You give good suggestions. I learn a lot from you. If you have questions, I'll try to answer to my best of my abilities. So that is what I have for you. Um, thanks again. Happy diamond painting. Remember, you don't have to be perfect to be amazing. I've got to do that diamond painting next. I just have to. Um, I just love that. It's, it's like the best thing ever. Okay, you take care. Happy diamond painting, everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.